Okay, um, creating curves inside Blender can be a bit of a nightmare. So let's try to use Photoshop to create some curves and then somehow get those curves inside Blender. Is that possible? Of course it is. Let's go file open. I'll open up a picture of some hinges I found on the internet and I want to use the shape of these hinges to create uh, objects, meshes inside Blender. So tracing, tracing this inside Blender, I mean, I don't know how to do it, I think it's a bit of a nightmare. So I'm going to use Photoshop uh, to do the tracing. Um, first of all, let's go to the layers panel. You can see the, the currently the background, it's locked. I don't want it locked, so I go right click and go layer from background. I go OK, and now it's fully editable. The next thing I want to do, I want to go to my magic wand tool, it sits here. I want to make sure the tolerance is set to 32, and I want to make it non-contiguous, because I want to select all the white pixels here, but also the white pixels inside here. And again, they are, they are not contiguous, they are not connected, these white pixels. So I click somewhere in the corner, I then hit the delete key, and you can see all the white pixels are gone. So that's pretty cool. Now what I'll do next, I go to my selection tool, just this one up here. I then click somewhere in the, in the gray area to undo my selection and go back to my magic wand tool. Then I tick the box contiguous because now I don't want to select these parts here. I just want to select the transparent pixels outside of those hinges. So clickety click. And you can see I've got all the transparent pixels selected. But I don't want the transparent pixels selected, I actually want the hinges selected. So I need to invert the selection. So select inverse. There you go. Now I've got the hinges selected. But this is a selection. This is not a path. This is not vectors I can use inside Blender. So I need to make it like vectors somehow. So how do you do that stuff? Well, you go to your paths uh, tab, your paths window here. You add a new path by clicking on the plus. And if you then hover over this little icon, this little icon says, make work path from selection. If you click it, left click it, now you've got all these vector points, yeah, all these bezier points with all the handles. They're currently still selected, which is cool. So I only have to do a control C to copy inside memory, then go into Illustrator, open up any type of document inside Illustrator. I don't care how big the document is, just double click any, that will all do. Then do a control V, and let's paste this path that sits in memory uh, into Illustrator as a compound path faster. You go OK. You can see the path is really big, but the size doesn't matter here because it's not about the document size, it's about the path I want to save. Well, the path is still currently selected. Let's do a file save as. Save on the computer. No, I don't want to save it as an Adobe Illustrator file. I actually want to save it as an SVG file. Scalable Vector Graphics, SVG. I'm going to call it like hinges. Yes, I go save. You want to overwrite the existing hinges file. Yes, I want to overwrite it. Uh, lots of defaults here. Just go with the defaults. Okay, if the defaults don't work, you can always go back afterwards. But for now, just go okay. Fingers crossed. There you go, inside Blender. Let's go File New inside Blender, New General File, don't save anything. So this is the general file. Let's do an A to select everything and delete to delete everything, now it's empty. Let's go File, Import, Import what? Import a scalable vector graphics file. Where do you find it? On the C drive somewhere, on the C drive. In the temp directory, I call it hinges. And if you zoom in, you roll your mouse wheel. Now you've got your hinges there. How cool is that? Huh? So if you go, if you select it, left click, and you go tap, you can actually see all those points. So you've got a point there, and you can see like they're currently still like uh, bezier handles. So I can literally just go G and still like make uh, fine tune my my curves there if you want to. It is completely. Uh, I mean, you can now manipulate the whole uh, path inside Blender as, well, any other path you would do, you would like manipulate inside Blender. But I think it's a quick way, quicker way to get there, rather than trying to trace like a picture inside Blender where you have to like manually position all these points, which is completely and utterly horrible. <laughs> okay, so hopefully this works for some of the people out there. Have fun with it. Bye bye.